Today, we're in the herd with men's and women's cross country. Head coach Kevin Donner says that most fans might think that all athletes coming back to school after a summer off of training would be in bad shape, but Coach Donner says that's definitely not the case at Bucknell. Our kids do a good job running on their own. They know that they have to develop a base uh, over the summer to prepare them for the fall. And this is college, and these athletes know that uh, it's Division One, and they're going to do what they need to do to, to be prepared for the upcoming cross-country season. He says that the Bison men could have one of their best seasons ever. We return uh, most of our top runners. Uh, we had a very good spring, very good winter, very good summer of, of preparation. And uh, our guys are hungry. They're, they they want to improve on what um, we've done the last few years. On the women's side, he says that one factor will play a big part. If we can keep our top ladies healthy, um, you know, we have a potential to be one of the, the better teams we've had in the last few years. So we're pretty excited. One member of the women's team hoping to move up a notch this year is All-League pick Katie Jesse. We're all just really excited for it. This um, Patriot League is getting really competitive and it's really going to be good for us. So hopefully we'll do really well and we'll see. Jesse participated in a study abroad program in Cape Town, South Africa during the summer. Um, it's actually their winter, so it was a little cold, um, probably like 50s or 60s. Um, I did a lot of my downtime there and I ran the last two weeks, probably a little bit every other day. Um, Coach Donner wanted us all to be on the same schedule, so we didn't really start training till mid-June. Um, so it worked out perfectly because I got back June 9th, um, so I was ready to get in my training in and it was a good downtime when I was in Africa. Men's Captain John Dugan was also busy during the summer interning at the Valley Hospital in New Jersey, while also participating as a camp counselor at the Army Track and Field Distance Camp at West Point, New York. I got to you know meet some of the old people I've raced against and actually recently graduated um, some guys who are being shipped out soon. So it's an interesting dynamic kind of getting to learn how they do things over there and I have a lot of respect for them and you know the rest of our league. He thinks this year will be a great one for the Bison. Last year coming into camp, we had a few people who were banged up and that kind of developed throughout the course of the year. But this year, I think, is probably the healthiest since I've been here that our team is looking right now. So, you know, we're going to work really hard to, you know, stay on top of that and make sure we preserve that going into the season as we pick up our intensity and start racing. As always, Bucknell will jump start its season by hosting the Bison Open. This year, it's going to be on August 31st.